All right, I'm Andrew. I'm going to start the pre-trip inspection on the truck here. Um, we're going to start out at the front. I'm going to check the top clearance lights there. I want to make sure they're not cracked, broken. They're uh, securely mounted, amber in color, and they're working properly as well. Coming down to my headlights here, I want to make sure they're also not cracked, broken. They need to be mounted securely. Um, they're working properly. My headlights function as my high beams and low beams, and those are both working. The indicator lights on the side, I want to make sure that those also aren't cracked or broken. They're securely mounted. Um, they're going to function as my left and right turning signals and my four ways. On the outside of my headlight bay here, um, you can see I have a reflector. I want to make sure the reflector is not cracked, broken, it's securely mounted, it's working properly the way that it should. Now on the front of the vehicle, I'm just going to check underneath the bumper as well. Making sure I, ha I don't have any fluids leaking, could be oil, um, could be power steering fluid, coolant, um, anything like that. I want to make sure it's nice and clean underneath the, uh, underneath the cab there. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the hood now. We're going to start on the passenger side of the engine bay. Lift up a little bit on the side. And pull up from the front. All right, on the passenger side of the engine bay here, the first thing I'm going to check is I'm going to check all of my hoses, okay? Making sure they're all mounted securely. There's no abrasions, bubble, bubbles, cuts, or leaks. Coming down to my alternator here, I want to make sure that that's in uh, good condition. It's mounted securely. Everything is working properly and that the belt has no more than three quarters of an inch play. Underneath my alternator, kind of hard to see, but I have my water pump down there, making sure it's mounted securely, it's not leaking. And I also have no more than three quarters of an inch play uh, on the water pump belt. Coming down to my frame, um, I wanna make sure that everything is securely mounted to it. It's not cracked, broken, and there's no illegal welds. Everything is in good condition, all right? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to the other side now. All right, we're now on the driver's side of the uh, engine bay here. I'm gonna check my coolant reservoir on top here. Uh, make sure it's securely mounted. It's not cracked, broken, or leaking anywhere on the reservoir or the cap itself. Um, we can see the level through it. It's nice and clear. It looks like it's okay, but if it wasn't clear or it was cloudy, uh, we can always pop off the cap and check it visually. Uh, we just wanna make sure we do that when the engine is cold, all right? Coming down to where we check our oil at. All right, right here we have our dipstick. We can pull that out, wipe it off, put it back in. Um, pull it out again, check the level that way. If we need to add any oil, uh, we could do so right here. I want to make sure that the dipstick is mounted securely. I want to make sure the cap is mounted securely um, and nothing is leaking there on the oil. All right, coming down to uh, my power steering pump back here, I want to make sure it's securely mounted, not cracked, broken, or leaking. Um, all the hoses are good, no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or leaks, and it is uh, securely mounted. Coming back to my power steering reservoir. Uh, making sure it's securely mounted, it's not cracked, broken, it's not leaking, the cap is nice and tight, also not leaking, the hose coming out of the reservoir into the steering box there is not, no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or leaks. I want to make sure the level is also okay on my power steering fluid. You can do that by looking through it, it's clear, or if it's too cloudy, you can pop out the cap and check it that way as well. Um, kind of tucked underneath the cab back there, um, can't really see it, but we have an air compressor, making sure it's securely mounted, not cracked, broken, or leaking, and it's in good condition as well. Coming to my steering linkage right here, I want to make sure that it's in good condition. It's not cracked, broken. Um, it's securely mounted, and there's no hydraulic leak in the middle of the um, middle of the steering linkage there. I also want to check the U joint um, here, making sure it's lubed properly, not cracked, broken, and everything is securely mounted as well. Checking my steering box, making sure it's not cracked, broken. It's securely mounted. The hose coming out from it into the reservoir again. No abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or leaks, and there's no leaks coming from the power steering box and it's securely mounted. Checking my pitman arm right here, making sure it's securely mounted, not cracked, broken, it's in good condition. And we've got a cast nut and carter pin here, making sure that it's securely mounted, not loose, no excessive rust, uh, making sure everything is good. Right here is gonna be my drag link, making sure it's not cracked, broken, it needs to be securely mounted. From our drag link, we have another cast nut and carter pin, making sure it's in good condition, securely mounted, not loose. Um, checking our upper knuckle right there, which you can see, making sure it's not cracked, broken, it's securely mounted. Then right below it, um, you have a lower steering knuckle, which is hard to see, it's way tucked back in there. Uh, lower knuckle that's also connected with another cast nut carter pin, not cracked, broken, and securely mounted as well. The bar going across the bottom, on, on the very bottom there, you can see has a tie rod, making sure it's not cracked, broken, securely mounted, and in good condition as well. All right, now we're gonna come into our suspension assembly, okay? Right here, we're gonna check our spring mount. 
making sure it's not cracked broken needs to be securely mounted in good condition here we have our leaf springs okay making sure it's not cracked broken securely mounted we only have two leaf springs so we could have no damage at all if we had four leaf springs we could have one damage because you are allowed a quarter damage here you can see I have my U-bolts, making sure they're not cracked broken, they're securely mounted. The bolts on the bottom are nice and tight with no excessive rust. Up here we have our shock absorber, making sure it's not cracked broken, it's securely mounted, and we have no hydraulic leak in the middle of our shock absorber there. The very back there we have a shackle, making sure it's not cracked broken, also needs to be in good condition and securely mounted. So that's it for our suspension assembly here on the front. We're now gonna do our brake assembly. Here we're going to have our brake hose, making sure it's no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or leaks on either end. It's uh, securely mounted and in good condition. Checking our um, brake chamber here, making sure there's no leaks. It's securely mounted, not cracked, broken, and the clamp is nice and tight. Now on the brakes on the front, we can't see the push rod and slack adjuster because we do have disc brakes. Uh, but we want to make sure everything is in good condition and working properly. Checking our inside lining and drum. Um, I want to make sure that everything is securely mounted. There's no more than a quarter inch on the pad. Um, there's no bluing or glazing on the drum, which could indicate excessive heat, okay? So that's going to be it for our brake assembly. I'm not going to jump to our tire assembly. For tire assembly, we're going to go with ICD, which stands for Inflation, Condition, and Depth. All right, we're going to check the inflation with a commercial tire gauge. Uh, we could check it right here on the valve stem with the commercial tire gauge. We could find the manufacturer specifications on the side of the tire. We also want to make sure from the valve stem we don't have any leaks. Coming to the condition of the tire, we want to make sure that the condition of the tire is good. There's no uneven wear, no chunks of rubber missing, no nails, anything like that. I um, want to make sure it's in an overall good condition and that the tire is all mounted securely. The depth of the tire here on the front is uh, no less than 4 30 seconds of an inch. Okay. Um, on the front here, we also can have um, virgin tires or steering tires only. We are not allowed to have recaps on the front. Coming down on the tire, we have our rims, making sure um, everything is mounted securely, not cracked, broken, um, no illegal welds or anything like that. Checking all of our lug nuts here, making sure there's no excessive rust on them, which could indicate possible looseness. They're all mounted securely, not loose or missing. Right here, the uh, tiny nuts going around there are called our spider nuts, making sure um, those same thing, none of them are missing, they're securely mounted, no rust, um, not cracked or broken. Right here, uh, we have our hub, so hub oil seal. We can pop that cap out. Um, if it starts leaking oil right away, that means the level's okay. We can put the cap back on. If it doesn't, we can insert our pinky in there. If it comes up to uh, less than the first indent of our pinky or knuckle of our pinky, um, if it's less than that, we need to add 90 weight gear oil. We could add that oil right where we pulled out the cap right there. Coming on back, we have our uh, another indicator light here on the side making sure it's not cracked, broken. It should be securely mounted. Um, this indicator light functions as a left indicator. On the other side will be the right indicator, and then it also functions as a four-way and, uh, and a running light as well. Checking our door here, making sure that um, it's securely mounted. There's no hanging up on the hinges when we open and close the door. It's in good condition, not cracked or broken. Coming to our steps here, want to make sure our steps don't have any slippery substances, oil, deaf fluid, um, even just a water or condensation, making sure it's nice and safe and everything is mounted securely um, so we don't fall and injure ourselves when we're entering and exiting the cab. We're also going to check our mirror up here, making sure it's securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and in good condition as well. Coming on back. I'm going to start out with our, uh, our steps going up here, checking those the same as we did just previously going into the cab, checking our catwalk going across here, making sure there's no slippery substances, it's not cracked or broken, um, and it's mounted securely to the frame. Underneath the catwalk we have a, you can't really see it here, but we do have a drive shaft under there, making sure it's securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and the U-joint is in good condition as well. We also want to check just to the uh, right of the drive shaft on the passenger side of the vehicle. We have our exhaust down there, making sure it's not cracked, broken, it's mounted securely. Um, there's no excessive black residue, which could indicate possible looseness somewhere, or a possible leak somewhere, sorry. Coming on back, we're going to check all of our lines now, okay? Um, our red line here is going to be our emergency line. Our blue line here will be our service line, and our green line, it could also be black, is going to be our um, electrical line. Making sure our red line here, our emergency line, is connected firmly to the front of the trailer on the glad handle. The rubber seal is okay, not rotted away or missing. Um, coming through the uh, 
the line and hose all the way through. Want to make sure there's no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or leaks. And that's connected securely to the uh, back of the tractor here, uh, making sure there's no leaks. Coming to our service line, our blue line, checking it the same way. We're going to check the glad handle up here, making sure the rubber seal is okay on the inside, not right away or missing. The entire line has no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or leaks. And coming down, that it's also attached firmly to the back of our tractor as well. Um, no leaks and securely mounted. Checking our green line here, our electrical line is going to be connected all the way into the uh, notch of the trailer, making sure there's no arc electrical arcing, everything is okay with the line, no abrasions, bubbles, or cuts, and it's mounted securely to the back of our tractor as well, all the way back through the notch. I'm going to come up, we're going to check the entire uh, nose of the trailer, also called the header board, making sure that the rivets are in place, it's not cracked, broken, ripped, or torn, everything is, all the rivets are securely mounted, um, and everything is good on that as well. On the very top, you can see we have clearance lights on the top, making sure they're not cracked, broken, securely mounted, in good condition, and everything is working properly as well. All right, we're gonna come down to our fifth wheel assembly down here. We're gonna check our apron up here, making sure our apron um, is welded properly. Um, it's mounted securely and nothing is cracked or broken. You wanna look straight through, making sure we have no uh, gap or daylight from the apron to the fifth wheel skid plate. We also, also wanna make sure our fifth wheel skid plate is securely mounted and properly greased. If it's not properly greased, that could cause steering issues down the road. Checking our um, release arm right there, making sure it's locked in the position that it needs to be with the safety latch, it's securely mounted and working the way that it should as well. Coming down to the uh, triangular piece right there, you can see that is going to be our platform, making sure it's also securely mounted. Um, making sure it's not cracked, broken, in good condition, and the mounting bolts down here are securely mounted, not missing, and they're in good condition as well. I want to make sure that the locking jaws are wrapped firmly around the shank of the kingpin, uh, making sure that it's securely mounted. You can check that by doing a simple tug test inside the vehicle, making sure that everything's securely mounted. Just make sure the landing gear's down just in case that it may not be, okay? All right, so from the fifth wheel assembly here, we're going to jump down to our suspension assembly here on the back. Right here, we're going to check this spring mount um, on the suspension, the same as we checked on the front. Down here, we don't have leaf springs anymore. We have torque springs back here. I want to make sure the torque spring is mounted securely, not cracked or broken. It needs to be in good condition as well. You can't see it, but coming to the right um, from the springs area, you're going to have U-bolts behind the tire. You want to make sure the U-bolts are mounted securely. The bolts are nice and tight and good condition, checking them the same exact way we did on the front. We're going to check the shock absorbers the same exact way that we checked on the front. Back here, we have something a little different on suspension, though. We have airbags back here. Want to make sure there's no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or leaks, and that they are securely mounted as well. Okay? It's going to do it for our, um, our suspension in the back. We're going to jump to our brake assembly now. You can't really see any of it, but you do need to know all of this stuff. Kind of know it by heart. Um, we're going to check the brake hose, the same as we checked on the front. We're going to check the brake, the brake chamber and the brake clamp the same exact way as we checked on the front. But back here, we now, now we can see the push rod and slack adjuster, so we're gonna make sure that the push rod is securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and there's no more than two inches of travel here on the second axle. All right, we're gonna check the slack adjuster, making sure that it's in good condition, not cracked, broken, securely mounted, and the angle of the push rod and slack adjuster should be more than 90, degree, 90 degrees when the brakes are released. We're gonna check our inside lining and drum the same exact way that we checked on the front of the vehicle. Coming to the tire assembly now, we're going to check the ICD, the inflation, the same as the front of the vehicle, the condition, the same as the front of the vehicle, except now we are allowed to have recaps in the back, as to on the front we're only allowed steering tires, okay? Um, we're going to check the depth back here, a little different as well. We are now allowed two thirty seconds of an inch as opposed to four thirty seconds of an inch on the front on depth. Coming to our rims of our tire. Uh, making sure that we're going to check the rims the same exact way we checked on the first axle. Checking our lug nuts the same exact way we did on the first axle. Checking our spider nuts here the same exact way we did on the first axle. And now we have an axle seal, however. So we're going to check the axle seal um, to make sure it's securely mounted. It's not leaking any gear oil and it's in good condition, not cracked or broken. We're also going to check the bud spacing in between our tires, making sure it's not cracked, broken, securely mounted. We don't have any... Uh, uh, rocks or anything in between those tires, any foreign objects that could flick off and damage our vehicle or another vehicle. Coming to our splash guards back here, want to make sure that they're covering both tires, not ripped or torn, they're in good condition, they're securely mounted, no lower than two inches from the ground, no higher than eight inches off the ground. 
from here you can see we have some tail lights back here, the red lights back there. Um, our tail lights, we want to make sure they're securely mounted, they're not cracked, broken, they're in good condition. Their functions are left and right turning signal, um, brake lights, um, they also function as four ways and running lights. The white light right there is going to be a reverse light, also want to make sure that's securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Back here on the second axle, I'm also going to make sure that I check my frame. I want to make sure that my frame doesn't have any illegal welds, it's not broken, it's not cracked. We're checking it the same exact way we checked on the, uh, on the first axle there. We're going to check our landing gear, making sure the release arm is in the lock stowaway position. I want to make sure it's um, not cracked or broken, it's securely mounted. My sand shoes are high enough off the ground where they're not grabbing onto anything. My K-bar and cross members are all in good condition, not cracked, broken, and everything is securely mounted as well. Coming down the entire side of my trailer, I'm going to check all of my DOT uh, reflective tape, making sure they're not ripped or torn, they're securely mounted, and they're where they should be. Um, coming on back, we're going to check our um, indicator light here on the side, making sure it's not cracked, broken, it's securely mounted. Um, this one's going to function as my left signal, the one on the adjacent side will function as my right signal, and they also function as four ways. All right, coming on back to the third axle, I'm going to start out with my suspension. I'm going to check my spring mount here. It's uh, a little different than the front because it's welded to the frame. It's not bolted. Um, so I want to make sure it's securely mounted by checking to make sure that the weld is not compromised right there. Here on the driver's side, um, I'm going to check my torque arm um, right here. I want to make sure that the torque arm is securely mounted. It's not cracked or broken. Um, on the torque arm, you could actually adjust the alignment of the tires here on the back. So I want to make sure everything is working properly on that as well. On the adjacent side, on the passenger side, it's actually called a torque rod. It is not adjustable. I also want to make sure it's securely mounted, not cracked, broken. It needs to be in good condition. Um, above the torque arm here, I have leaf springs. I want to check those the same as I did on the first and second axle. The U-bolts here, I'm going to check the same exact way as I did on the first and second axle. I want to make sure um, everything is in good condition and securely mounted. Coming to my tire assembly back here. Um, I want to make sure on my tire assembly, actually let's do our brake assembly first, I'll stay in the same order. I'm going to check my brake assembly, my brake hose. Um, I'm going to check the same as the first and second axle. The brake chamber, I'm going to check the same as the uh, first and second axle. My push rod, the same as the second axle. My slack adjuster, the same as the second axle. My inside lining and drum, the same exact way I'd check on the second axle. On my tire assembly here, my ICD, my inflation would be checked the same as the second axle. My condition would be checked the same as the second axle. And my depth would be identically the same as my second axle. I'm going to check my uh, bud spacing back here the same way I did on my second axle. Check my rims the same way I did on my second axle. My lug nuts the same exact way I did on my second axle. Um, my spider nuts the same way on my second axle. And also my hub seal here, I'm going to check the same as the first axle on my hub seal. All right. Okay, coming back, I'm going to check my ABS light here, making sure it's not cracked, broken. It needs to be securely mounted. Um, it should come on for about five seconds when the engine's on, then it should turn off. If it doesn't, that's something we want to get checked out. Here on the uh, side of the back of the trailer, we have a brake light, making sure it's not cracked, broken, securely mounted, and in good condition. Checking our splash guards back here. I want to check those the same as I did behind the second axle. I'm going to check the, uh, the clearance lights on the top of my trailer back here, making sure they're securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Um, they're functioning properly, making sure my doors are securely mounted. They swing open and they swing closed properly. There's no hanging up on the hinges. And everything is working the way that it should. Checking my DOT reflective tape back here, making sure it's all securely mounted. It's where it should be. It's not um, cracked, ripped, or torn in any way, and it's in good condition. Checking my tail lights back here. Uh, I want to make sure that they're uh, functioning properly. They're securely mounted, not cracked or broken. My tail lights on the back here are going to function as my left and right turning signals, my four ways, my brake lights, and they also function as my running lights back here as well. Checking my license plate light down there, making sure it's securely mounted, also not cracked, broken, and it needs to be in good condition. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do from here is I'm just going to ask my examiner if they would want me to go over the entire passenger side of the trailer the same way as it did as the driver's side of the trailer. Most of the time they'll say no, but if they want you to do it, just be prepared to, uh, to do that. Okay, thanks.